haven't let me come down a bit there we go <laughs> lovely to see you today so this is a really really exciting day because i've got loads of stuff to show you um we have alfie's just turning the sound down so we don't get an echo so we've got three launches to show you today so it's a bit more of a show and tell today rather than a demonstration because there's so much to show you and we're so excited about it all so um this is just going to be sorry about the noise in the background that's just duke wanting to play with his stick um and alfie's not playing so <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so, first of all, um, we have our Christmas release, which we launched on the Craft Store TV on Friday, just a few days ago. And that was fantastic. We've got some beautiful, beautiful things to show you there. We've also got our one day special coming up, which is tomorrow night at 6 pm and 9 no, 6 pm and 8 pm tomorrow night and then on wednesday it's 8 am 12 noon and 4 pm so there's loads of demonstrations tune in have a look and you'll get a fantastic price as well because it's our one day special so also we've got a prize what prize are we giving away alfie the new kit we're going to give away a Not new the new box kit Yep. And a set of the springs. <gasps> no times way. Two. No way. Okay, so I'll show you the prize as we go along. Okay, but we're going to have, you're going to love it and you're going to want it. And we'll go ahead and give two sets away. Okay, so you know what to do. Like, comment, share right here, right underneath. Just do it now and then it's done and then you're in with a good chance of winning excuse me <clears throat> let me just have a frog in my throat okay so um let me just have a look at alfie could you give me a hand here could you um put me back on i don't know what i've done with that just so i can say some hellos so um i just want to say hello to our carolyn lakin um, she's been really poorly and I'm hoping you're feeling uh, better this week. I know it's been dragging on, but um, we love you lots and um, yeah, we'll see you very soon. And also Mary Davies, hi, Ali, hi, um, Louise Skinner, hi, Jan, Adele, loads of people joining us. Thanks very much for tuning in. Right, so let's get started. We've got all these new releases to get through. So uh, let's come on down to my overhead camera and we have our amazingly beautiful stamps that we released last Friday by our favourite designer Janine Gerard Shaw. Here we go. So she's done this amazing tree. I love this. This is just absolutely gorgeous. It's so different. Not seeing anything like this at all. Just it's really just nice. fantastic. I put them in these sleeves just to store mine in and um, this is just gorgeous loads and loads of beautiful detail fantastic border stamp here that that mistletoe is just gorgeous i just love it the detail on it is fantastic i've put some words on as i normally do and this is a little background stamp here and it's just made up of some nice words that you might associate with Christmas, like family, love, celebration, laughter, gift thanks, togetherness, community, music, holiday, and joy. Just be and careful that... of your hands, because again, for some reason, it's gone on to auto exposure. Okay. All right. So yeah. I'll I'll keep my hands out of the way, and right. then it won't keep trying to refocus. And then this tree, I adore. I've actually used that so much. You wouldn't believe and it's just gorgeous fantastic stamps all um great detail in them nicely deep etched and of course we've already put them onto um easy mount for you and um cling mount and they go straight onto your acrylic blocks or your slim gems and of course they're all cut out which we love don't we we don't like cutting out stamps well i don't anyway but that is an absolute winner i adore that stamp plate this is delicious this is 
beautiful. So we've got foliage wreath. Again, this is by Janine. And this I absolutely adore because, you know, I like my thoughts sort of fandangles. Well, this is just beautiful. It's a branch with all those lovely things hanging from it. And the detail, again, is superb. Let me get see whether I can get that. You'll be able to take it out because it will fade. Yeah, just there it. we go. Let me just... I can't actually see that. Well, I can't see that screen, Alfie. There we go. Okay. So the detail on that is beautiful. I just love it. And we've got some extra ones here and here that you can actually add to that wreath, uh, that branch, or you can have them coming down inside this wreath here. So I've actually put a happy birthday in because I believe if you colour these with summer colours, reds, pinks, uh, purples you're going to get a beautiful summer wreath autumn colors you're going to get an autumn wreath and of course we do have birthdays in winter don't we and around christmas time but obviously i still got a christmas there so you can swap that out as well beautiful wreath i love the way she's actually just not drawn a full circle here she's just stopped at a circle which is so clever and beautiful but also this inner circle will fit your circle dies perfectly so um because i i had some i tried it out and i thought yes perfect absolutely gorgeous i really really love these and they are so popular you need to get yours straight away you can get these um now they are available on the indigoblue.com uh, website and you'll also see that we have um, got some lovely samples i don't know if they've been uploaded yet have they been uploaded the christmas ones not quite yet in a few days time Okay, Duke is making a right mess with that stick. Don't know where he got it from, but okay. So we're on to the A6s now. So um, we've still packed loads into these. They're absolutely gorgeous. We've got holiday hugs to you, warm winter wishes, which fit perfectly in this hexagon here, and. The, this is an A6 size, so this is only eleven ninety nine for red rubber cut out and handmade. Fantastic! You've got three lovely stars that make great backgrounds or just accents. Um, a lovely joy there, and of course you've got another tree. We're really into trees this year. I love this tree. So this tree could be for any birthdays or celebrations. The, uh, you could put buttons on there. I just think it's lovely. I think it's really nice. If you wanted to do lots of batch cards, um, you're going to get um, a lot out of this. Absolutely beautiful. And that's called Warm Winter Wishes. So that's that one. And then we are on to Happy Holidays. Now, I really like this because we've got a gorgeous um, ivy stamp here. <clears throat> Excuse me and the detail on this is is beautiful so what i've done is i've actually taken janine's artwork and i flipped it so that you get one lefty and one righty of the uh, the branches of ivy so that you get a lot more from it and it's it's just beautiful when you stamp this out it's so much nicer in real life honestly um We've got your happy holidays there, may it be filled with joy and sparkle. And we've got a really nice acorn um, decoration there as well. So useful, um, again, all year round for those ivy um, stamps, which I can see myself using an awful lot. So those are absolutely beautiful. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, we've got samples coming. Ella is just bringing them over for us from um, our unit. But I have got a couple of samples, finished samples, um, that I did on, on air, which I can show you. So we've got that lovely, lovely tree. Now I've actually used the gilding flake on this, the flitter glue and gilding flake. And I used um, just some patterned paper and it was from our artist range um, I think this is probably set three um, that's a wild guess I'm thinking <laughs> it's probably set three um, obviously this is the lovely little 
um, text that you get with the same stamp plate or is it or is it it's off the different stamp plate and then of course can you see I've used a lovely little piece of the ivy there and as a background I've used the mistletoe so the background is actually made with our metallic paints which are the Sleeping Beauty and um, Snow White that's it and I just braid them on onto a tag so easy so quick oh Ella you're a star she's just she's come in and brought all the stuff that we didn't have so that's amazing thank you um really love that I've just put a few little bits and pieces added onto that um next um this is the, the background is lovely that's made with that gorgeous border and this works so well doesn't it just to put a little bit of greenery behind it a little bit of lace the twinkly stuff that you can see is actually um our stop it on fabric sparkles so i haven't got a bottle next to me but it's fantastic stuff it doesn't have to be just on fabric you can just smear it wherever you want um really really simple gorgeous and then you can see i really liked this tree didn't i so just stamped in oxides and then pulled out pulled the color out with some uh, with a wet brush that's all i did and um, can you see that ivy in the background absolutely gorgeous for a background just to cover the whole place plain white looks amazing um and then this one this is that tree isn't it fabulous just amazing right i can go a bit quick now because elf is actually opening a box of samples which is fantastic so um just in the background we've got some um lovely metallic paints i just love this tree you've just got to have this tree but i can go a bit faster now gorgeous gorgeous work i think this is lorna uh, no name on the back but look at those ivy leaves see what i mean they're just fantastic and then you've got the um hexagon there and she's laid it all up and she's stamped onto some handmade rough um watercolor card there with that delicious tree and again we've got that wreath done very simply it looks so elegant so beautiful and you can tell the girls really loved these so i have huge thanks to leslie to caroline kerry lorna alf is just piling them up now so simple but absolutely beautiful stunning work um, and this is kerry these are two kerry's they're gorgeous and this is Rachel's, which is a little stand-up card. They've obviously loved doing these. Nice bit of jelly printing in the back, I believe. And that's our Kerry. Look at this one. So simple. But I love it. I really love it. And coloured in with some luscious there. And that's that's Kerry as well. Um, multiple prints there. You can see that as a background stamp and how the this one has been bent so that you can actually make a wreath out of it. Very, very clever. Lovely. Alf is just piling them on now. That's enough, that's enough, that's enough. <laughs> I love the colours. You see, don't always like traditional Christmas colours. Let's get some pink in there. Isn't that gorgeous to get that? And this is so clever. So very, very clever. Beautiful to have a nice little bit of a landscape in the middle there and done in a really soft monochrome colour. Really, really love that one. And that's our Sue Jacob. What a star. Absolutely beautiful. Um, and then texture upon texture. And we have lots of lovely colour. And we've got millions of these. You can tell the girls love them because we've got millions and millions of beautiful, beautiful samples. We're just inundated with them. And we've only got a small team. They're doing so incredibly well. Look at this. This is what I mean about that branch. Absolutely gorgeous. So we've got, that's our Leslie. Now, congratulations, Leslie. This is um, a first commission um, for our design team and she's uh, with us for uh, the next three months and that's another of Leslie's beautiful work so I'm going to stop there I can't stop there's just so many beautiful ones um, 
I think that one is our Rachel and this is Sue Jacob again. I love the way she thinks outside the box. Uh, I really like how she's got this perfect circle in the middle and just use those around the outside. Beautiful, beautiful work, girls. Really, really lovely. So thank you so very, very much. And just look at that. Again, thinking outside the box, Rachel and Kerry and Sue and Rachel again. So um, I'm going to just stop there because we've got millions left and we are going to go on to our next surprise. Let me just get rid of these. Right, so, so we have our wonderful new box set. Sorry, I had to have a drink. So excited about this. I absolutely adore this one. I think this is my favourite so far. But you know me, I love poppies. Now, this is going to be launched on the one day special tomorrow night on the craft store. And um, it's at six o'clock. But for the one day special, you're going to get a special prize for this. Okay, so it's not only the box kit and everything that's in it, we're going to give you some extras as well. So let me just unbox this for you because there is so much to have in here. You won't believe. So we have the magazine, huge, big magazine, 71 projects in it. We also have this, let me just open this. There's more in here than we've ever done before, okay? So we've really, really stretched our budget on this. Oh, there we go. Right, so we also have, let me get a piece of paper so you can see it properly. Look at that, huge, big A4 set of stamps. Some of my absolute favourites in different sizes. Um, but this is brand new. Um, this is brand new. We've got some absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous stamps on here. And this is beautiful. This collage, I adore. Not only that, I mean, if we had those in rubber, those would cost us 40 quid. But, you know, I can't believe how they do this for the price. It's amazing. We have, <laughs> why on why it doesn't exactly work, does it, Kate? Come on. We have a stencil with four different areas on here. So we've got the poppies, which are brilliant, and we've got that texture piece there. So we've got that. We've also got a die, three dies. We've got a poppy, which is an embossed die. We've got the lovely leaves, and we've got the seed head as well. So we've got three dies as well. But also we've got these A5 sheets of a rice paper. Now they're not the sort of rice paper I've used before. They're more like a, a very soft handmade paper. These are just beautiful. Look at the design. So they've taken our designs and their graphic design. I did this one actually. <laughs> um, and their graphic designers have actually utilized all of the imagery we've given them uh, to make some beautiful papers so these are smooth on the back and lovely texture on the front so even though they call them rice papers they're not what i would think of as rice paper they're a bit thicker than that so we've got a few sheets of that those stamps you just those stamps are just amazing aren't they but we've also got papers in here as well so we have a huge load of papers I think there's 32 isn't there Alfie mm, normally yeah. in here look at this all these papers are included as well now these papers as you know if you've used uh, got ours before are actually made out of a thicker um, matte paper that I really like I don't I didn't want um, a glossy one because I want to be able to colour on top of these beautiful, absolutely stunning. And you get some um, more words with them. And they're duplicated as well. So you get two of each, basically. And there's 32 sheets in total. And, of course, you get all of these lovely um, 
inspirations as well. Um, I did a masterclass on um, Luscious. If you're a Luscious fan, this is for you because I did a few examples of what you could do with Luscious and you know me. This is just the start of it. But then we've got Claire Rose Brandon in here. Um, we've also got, oh, I think that's our, our Lorna, is it? Oh, that's Rachel, Rachel Fisher. Um, we've got a guest designer, Nikki Gilbert, in there. Our very own Karen Lakin with some gorgeous stuff. A little bit about us and some of our products. We've got our Jill Humphrey in there. Now we've got, oh, there's Kerry stuff. Beautiful, beautiful, unusual stuff. Well done, Kerry, with that. Vanessa Hodgson's in here. If you love that gilding flake, you're going to love what Caroline's done with these. We've got some information on our dirty weekends. Lots of stuff going on. Sue Jacobs' work is gorgeous. Um, Sarah Bellin, who's a, a guest designer for us, some information about our Indigo Blue in India oh, trips. Yeah which we're hoping to get back to by the end of next year. Um, Sarah Jackson Reed, Jen, loads and loads of beautiful, beautiful work. I'm so proud of this. The girls have done an incredible job. I am just made up. And if you think that this, um, retail, the price of this to retail is ridiculous, but not only that, what we've done is we've actually specially... Um, yeah, for the ODS, we have specially designed three brand new stamps that are available just with the ODS, which is the one day special um, at six o'clock tomorrow night on the craft store. So you will be getting three lovely new stamps here. Cups, which I've had um, stencil done, which I adore, so I wanted this. This one was designed by Mike Deakin for me. He is such an angel. This is beautiful, and I love it. Thank you, Mike. Um, catch him on his YouTube channel, uh, Mike Deakin Art, because um, he's got some gorgeous stuff, and his website. He does loads and loads of art journaling um, stuff which you'll love also this is sunshine flower which I really really love and um, again that is so useful so you'll be getting those three as well so the whole thing I'm not going to give away everything all the prices and everything you'll just have to tune in tomorrow night at six o'clock and um, it's going to be a fantastic show so what else surely there's there's more there is more I have been so excited about showing you this next release because we have worked on this for such an incredibly long time. You would not believe. Are you ready? Dun, dun, dun. Oops. Have you got the uh, label for that one? Ta da! What have we got? What, what are these, Kay? What are these? These are Vivids inks. These are a water-based ink and they are in a airless bottle, which is absolutely brilliant because then you don't have a tube going down and sucking up any of the mica. It's done by um, vacuum. So they are really, really easy to, um, to spray and they won't get clogged and you just give them a good yeah I've got they're, they're slightly wet because I, I've um, dipped them in water Alfie sorry <laughs> it's like why is these wet so what are they so we have two sets of five we've got ten in total Alfie's just putting a, a label on one of them for me so we have fresh morning mist which is a beautiful platinum colour. We have Whiskers on Kittens, which is a lovely sort of brownie, bronzy colour. Um, slice of Jam and Bread, which is like a raspberry, raspberry, seedless raspberry jam. Then we have Raindrops on Roses, which of course is a lovely sort of red, rosy colour. 
we have a drop of golden sun which is like a gold color we have catch a moonbeam which is a yellow um, again these have all got micas in them so you've got that added bonus of them being beautifully shimmery this is sweet as summer peaches which is obviously a peachy sort of color perfectly precious purple which again says it it all purple in there then we've got england's pastures green and that is the most beautiful green you've ever seen and blue satin sashes which is a gorgeous blue and the packaging obviously is beautiful um so we are so excited because um you know it just completely changes how we use sprays because having it in an airless container is just so much better um, you won't suck up all of that mica but you've still got to give them a shake to wake okay so let me show you some samples here so these are a few of my favorite things obviously we've got some inspiration from the sound of music now i have to tell you that um we used to go to my grandma and granddad's every sunday my grandma had a really good collection of videos well they were videotapes you know and she had lots of music she loved musicals so we would regularly sit down after sunday lunch mark and michael would play in the garden and i'd sit down with my grandma and watch sound of music or seven brides of seven brothers or any number of beautiful musicals so this is really um for my grandma um whiskers on kittens is obviously um from the film slice of jam and bread and then we've uh, done some beautiful sort of other colors as well now it's really important that you know that these have probably two or three times the amount of pigment that you would normally get in a spray um, we did lots of tests and um, you know they always send you what's the average norm and I'm like no it's not strong enough let's put some more in and let's double it again so you've got really beautiful beautiful colors coming out of these and then we have our more favorite things <laughs> blue satin sashes which of course has got to be my favorite because i love blue catch moonbeam fresh morning mist perfectly precious purple and raindrops on roses so you have some absolutely stunning stunning colors there did you do that one mm -hmm. Ah, there it is. Drop of golden sun. Thanks, darling. Okay, so I'll just give you a quick spray of these. Okay, so what do they look like? Let's have a look here. So I've got a few um, bits of die cuts here. And let's have a little bit of um, the England's Pastures Green. Now, you still need to shake it. And you'll be able to see the mica at the bottom here but it does hold it in suspension quite well so you'll see that they don't go clear now we, we use um, a, an ink in here so it's nice and vibrant uh, it is water-based and it will go on to multiple surfaces but um, you won't be able to wash fabric with it although it does go on to fabric really beautifully so shake spray and also either wipe or slosh the nib at the top in water because you can still um, get clogged up in this if you don't look after them this has got an airtight top which is very good and it will stop it from getting blocked but i i would say the best practice is to shake spray and splosh so if you just do that in water that is never going to get clogged up okay so we've got um, let's get a little bit of golden sun on here so let's shake spray and splotch okay it doesn't it takes a second doesn't it and it's not going to take anything away from the time you spend playing around 
okay so what have we got um let's get a little bit of blue on here because if we mix the blue with the green we should get sort of like tealy colors so this is blue Probably satin sashes press the camera as it's going in and out focus all oh, right it, it's not a set focus is it not okay so if we just do a little bit of blue on top of that green let's have a little bit on there totally blue that now let's just put a little bit on there and then as i say give it a, a splosh in water and then that way your nozzle is never going to get blocked up although when i've tried it um they don't get blocked up anyway but if you leave leave ink on here in the nozzle that could dry up so just be on the safe side i'm going to teach you to always do that so i'm just going to come back in with some more um, green pastures there we go and then let's try i've got a poppy here so let's go on with raindrop some roses and then i'm going to come in with with that I think we'll probably go with some summer peach as well. So I'm giving this a good shake off camera, then it doesn't make the camera go in and out. Okay, let's have a little bit of that. That's lovely. So the colours are just gorgeous, aren't they? And the DT, the design team, have absolutely loved them as well. So I haven't got um, a poppy one, but this is one that I did earlier and I've just left to dry. I think it's best to leave them to dry and then you're not going to burn off the pigment in the mica. But look at that. You can, you can actually see the different colours. Oh, by the way, if you're interested, these um, dyes are from um, John Lockwood's and um, Crafts 2. So if you're if you were wondering okay but they're lovely aren't they they're just gorgeous and also what i did was um i sprayed onto a sheet of paper a sheet of um this is super smooth lots lots of different colors on here absolutely beautiful and then i die cut so instead of die cutting and spraying i've actually sprayed and then die cut so I've done some some words. These are, I think they are spellbinders. Spellbinders. Look at those, they're just to die for, aren't they? I think they're just beautiful. I'm just I'm not going to show you much more because I've got loads and loads of demos to show you uh, tomorrow night and Wednesday as well. But if if you like your sprays or you've never tried them before, please have a go at these they are absolutely gorgeous and these are what we are going to be giving away all two sets of sprays so that's 10 in total and the box kit so two people are going to um, win that whole set of it's everything worth over 100 quid yeah a bundle. wow that's worth over 100 quid a times, bundle times two wow that's 200 quid worth of stuff you're giving away aren't they so generous so generous so what do you have to do you have to comment like and share okay and just to be in with the chance of winning this whole set of 10 and the box kit louise has just asked does the mica set does the mica set what does she mean does the mica set um it's got a bind if you mean um does it come off no it won't come off because it's got a binder in as well we put binder in here so it's um yeah we don't put fillers in again we just put um uh the obviously you need a preservative um but it is an inert preservative um we put a binder in and obviously the ink and the mica basically um and we use obviously the really top quality um, pigments and we put maybe sometimes three or four times the amount that you would normally get if you show of the pigment of, of one where the, the top the bottoms kind of moved up a little yeah. bit, one, so they can see how it's working 
Yeah, so you can see here that this uses um, a vacuum because there's no air in here. So as you spray, it pulls the bottom up to the top and that pushes um, the ink out. Now, don't throw away this because these are really expensive to buy. Um, you can actually reuse them and I can show you how to do that. Um, so does the, on the spray show. reactivate if they get wet? No, because once it's it's bound, that that's it. Okay, and how should this be stored? Um, so Heather says, should we store them on the side? Um, you can't. You, it doesn't matter because um, you haven't got um, a tube going all the way through. Um, you don't. It doesn't matter. I you mean, can I think whichever you, way you store them, it, the mica is going to settle. Yeah, it? So yeah. It needs reactivating anyway. It does. It needs shaking anyway. So you know whether you store them upright or on the side. It yeah. It, you just need to give it a shake. And um, I do beg your pardon. Um, you do actually. You can actually reactivate them once they are sprayed. Mm -hmm. But you can't. Um, you can't wash fabric. Um, they're not. They're not. Uh, you can spray onto fabric for an effect, but it's not like a fabric spray that um, like our paints. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? No, not so far. No. Okay, so I'm absolutely delighted with them. The colours are fantastic. The micro. There's a lot of mica in them, so they're really highly reflective, as you can probably see with these. Um, I allow them to dry naturally, but of course you can force dry them if you want to. Alison says, they are fab bottles. I'm amazed you've got them at such a good price. I have one as a water spray that cost me £10. Yes, they are very, very expensive. You are absolutely right. They did cost an absolute fortune, but um, it's worth it if you're going to get um, a really good uh, spray in this. But also, it's it looks nice on my desk, so I'm really pleased with them. And of course, they had to be blue, didn't they? You know. Um, but yes, thank you very much for noticing that. Um, they are worth it. And as I say, don't throw them away because they can be reused. So at some point, we might be refilling them. It's a um, good, good comment from David. Storing on the side would be better, as there's a larger surface area to incorporate the mica. Yes, that is a good point, David. Yes. And then it's it won't take as much shaking um, to get them going because obviously when you have them have them upright you get quite a big amount at the bottom here. So yes, that is a good idea. But they do look pretty stood upright though, don't they? <laughs> yes, I love them. I absolutely love them. So um that's all I've got for you today. Um, please tune in for lots and lots of demos. Obviously, I'm going to be using these a lot, um, and I will be using them on um, on more Facebook Lives in the future. Um, they come in two sets, as you saw, set one and set two. So you can just get five to start off with, um, but there is a special offer on the craft store for all ten as well. Um, I can't remember the prices, but um, just tune in and find out. So, um, yes, really excited. Thanks ever so much for joining us. Um, lovely to see everybody. Please remember to um, like, comment and share. Um, within, be within a chance of winning the whole lot all together. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow at six o'clock on the craft store. Say bye, Alfie. Just six. Six and eight. Six and eight. Yeah. Okay. Six and eight. Bye. Bye. <laughs>